So, welcome and uh, this is a, a short tutorial and I want you to read two passages uh, written by the same author and when you read I want you to pay attention to the way the information is communicated uh, and from the way it is communicated whether you can guess the intended audience for that particular passage. Okay, so, that is the exercise we want to do. Uh, here is passage 1. You can see any vapor by the strength of the light diffused by the individual particles and the more particles you have the stronger the diffusion. From the strength of the diffusion you can actually count the number of molecules. I use the word counting not like 1, 2, 3, 4, it is a different type of counting. When I was in the currency office they used to count the rupees, you know what they did? They did not count the rupees, they counted the bags, they weighed the bags. Each bag was supposed to contain 2000 rupees that had to be taken on trust and then multiply the number of bags and you got a crore, 10 million of rupees. Like that you count the molecules of the atmosphere, it is only a sort of estimate, okay, that is the first passage. The second passage, a method of approach to the problem of molecular scattering which is somewhat different from Rayleigh's and which enables the case of liquids to be included is the theory of fluctuations developed by Einstein and Smoluchowski and used by the later especially to elucidate the optical phenomenon observed in the vicinity of the critical state. In this theory, the medium is regarded as undergoing small local variations of density owing to the irregular movements of the molecules and the results of these fluctuations of density is that a certain proportion of the incident light is scattered. So, I want you to think about these two passages in terms of again content, clarity and style and voice, but with specific emphasis on the style and voice. What is it that is different about these two passages and what does it tell you about the intended audience? Okay, so, that is the exercise so for, for you to do. Uh, so, guess the intended audience and explain your reasoning why you think that that is the intended audience. Okay? Thank you.